Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the TempMinder digital thermometer. This is going to help you to keep an eye on the temperature inside your RV and also inside your fridge or your freezer so you can make sure that things are at the right temperature. So it helps to make sure that you keep food spoilage to a minimum. You're able to kind of keep an eye on things without opening the door all the time. This also has a freeze uh, alert as well so if you have a fridge that you don't want things to freeze in it kind of gives you a heads up on that so let's take a little closer look at it it's going to have a nice digital display it does come with the battery so you can get that started up right off the flip to do that at the back you'll have this little compartment to open up and whenever you first get this the battery is in this little compartment so if you want to you can also get a spare battery and keep it in there for the inevitable uh, time when this battery fails on you it should last for a while and it is nice that they give you that original battery so you can get it going right out of the package so you just put that over it's gonna beep at you and then you can just replace the cover it's a little tricky because you kind of have to get that coax that in place while we're back here, we can also see you can either flip out this little stand to have it sit on a table like that, or use the magnet to put this on the outside of your fridge or somewhere else, um, met metal that'll be magnetic for it. It also has the little probe so you can attach this to get that readout for the uh, internal temperature. This is about three feet long. It has the little sensor at the end. Also, this little guy is going to be a little wand to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Whenever you first turn it on, it's going to be in Celsius. So to switch that over, just use this little guy, press the button inside, and now we're in Fahrenheit. So for those of you who want to keep it metric, you can just let it ride right out of the box, but you do have the option of changing it over with this thing. Uh, this is probably going to get lost uh, immediately. I was kind of storing it on the back. If you're going to be putting this on a table, that's maybe a, a good place to, to house it. I did try to see if it would fit into this compartment with the battery, but there's kind of no way to get it to fit in there with the tight tolerance without bending it or um, possibly damaging the battery. So it's just one of those little pieces that's going to get immediately lost. At least if you're me. I, I don't keep things very organized. So anyway, as far as what this is going to give you a reading for, we'll be able to see how the outside temperature is doing versus our internal temperature. There's going to be a couple different little faces to help you see the relative humidity kind of at a glance. Right now, since our humidity is down to 38%, that's why it's telling us that it's not so great. It likes our humidity to be a little bit higher than that. Um, so there is a range on, in the dis, uh, instructions that tell you what that's going to be. Uh, once it gets up to about, I think, 78, then it also will be a little kind of not so happy face. So it just gives you a little clearer indication of the settings there. You can also turn on that freezer alert by pressing and holding this button until the snowflake appears in that top corner. Turn it off the same way. And you can also see with the minimum and maximum temperatures, which since I just turned this on, it's not really going to have a big difference between those settings. When you first press it, it's going to be the max. Second press is going to be the min. And then third is going to take you back to the original. You can clear that minimum and maximum by pressing the clear button down here. So that will uh, let you reset it so you can see maybe how the temperature did overnight or on a hot day and things like that. As far as size, it's pretty compact, just about three and a quarter inch long by about two and seven eighths inches, just under three inches tall. And then at the widest point down here, about an inch or about three quarters of an inch thick. That probe again, about two or excuse me, about three feet long. So it should be long enough and thin enough that you can run this inside your freezer. Just going over that uh, weather stripping or that seal around the edge. It's a thin enough wire that I don't think it should cause any issues with heat or uh, cooling being lost or getting into your freezer or your fridge. 
but it should be an easy way to keep an eye on everything, see what the temperature's like, so you can make sure that everything's staying nice and fresh inside your RV. But that's pretty much going to do it for our look at the TempMinder digital thermometer with Probe. I hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right one for you. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.